Welcome to University of Washington Medical Center, one of the nation's leading academic medical centers. We're committed to providing compassionate care to every patient we serve. This video will cover important information and resources that you need for your upcoming surgery, including how to prepare for your surgery, what to expect the day of surgery, and how to plan for the care you'll need after surgery. Thank you so much for choosing UWMC for your care. Hello, my name is Kelly. I'm a registered nurse at the University of Washington Medical Center and will be talking with you today regarding your upcoming surgery. During your pre-surgery clinic visit, you will meet with your surgeon and the surgical care team to discuss treatment options and the risks and benefits associated with surgical treatments. We will give you an estimated number of days you will stay in the hospital and we will answer any questions you may have regarding your surgery. This can help you plan ahead for recovery after surgery so that you can consider what assistance you may need with chores, meals, errands, driving, childcare, or care of your pet. A member of the healthcare team will talk to you about your medications. Be sure to have a list of all the medications and supplements you are taking and the doses for each one. You may be asked to stop taking certain medications prior to your surgery. A nurse will explain any eating or drinking restrictions that you may have before your surgery. It is very important that you do not drink any alcohol or have anything to eat after midnight the evening before your surgery. Depending on your specific surgery, you may or may not be allowed to drink clear liquids on the morning of surgery. Beginning two hours before your arrival, no liquids are allowed except for very small sips of water if you've been directed to take medications. Your nurse will also talk with you about showering the day before and morning of surgery with a special soap, chlorhexidine gluconate, or CHG. This helps reduce the risk of getting an infection. You can buy CHG at most drugstores, and a common brand is Hibiclens, but any brand is okay. To help reduce infections, do not shave the part of your body where you are having surgery for 48 hours beforehand. Please do not wear any deodorant, makeup, fragrances, perfumes, body lotions, or hair products on the day of surgery. Please carefully read all of the information we provide you, such as the booklet about your surgery experience. The information in our booklet will help you get ready for your surgery. Depending on the type of surgery or underlying health condition, you may need to be seen in our pre-anesthesia clinic for further medical evaluation. Your surgeon or anesthesiologist may also have you get pre-surgery laboratory testing or radiology testing. A patient care coordinator will meet with you in clinic or call you to schedule a date for your surgery. In addition, you will receive a phone call one to two business days prior to your scheduled surgery to inform you where to check in and what time to arrive on the day of surgery. If you do not receive this call by 5 p.m. on the business day before your surgery, please call the number that is listed on your surgery confirmation letter. The following is information you should know for the day of your surgery. Depending on where your surgery will take place, you may park in one of the following locations. The Triangle Garage, the Surgery Pavilion Garage, or the Roosevelt Clinic Garage. There is also a valet service at the main hospital off of Pacific Street. Parking fees do apply. When you check in for your surgery, you will be asked for the following items. A photo ID, your medical and pharmacy insurance cards, a list of all the medicines and supplements you take, including their doses. You must also have a way to pay for your copays on your medicines when you leave the hospital. If you have the following items, please bring them as well on the day of your surgery. A copy of your healthcare directive and durable power of attorney for healthcare if you want them added to your medical record. Bring any medical equipment that you use at home that you will need during your stay or at the time of discharge or travel to and from University of Washington Medical Center. Examples include CPAP machine, rescue inhaler, prescription glasses, hearing aids, or any devices provided to you at your pre-op appointment, such as crutches or braces. Please do not bring any of the following items on the day of your surgery. Your daily medicines, children without an adult to watch over them, any valuables unless they can be kept safe by a waiting family member or friend. Please also remove all jewelry, piercings, contact lenses, and leave them at home. When checking in at the surgery reception desk, you will have an identification band placed on your wrist. This will guarantee that each care team member knows who you are. You will also be asked to arrive early for your surgery so that we can do a full medical review. 
you may want to bring a book or magazine to read while waiting. A registered nurse will review your health history, give you any necessary medications, and may collect blood or urine samples if needed. If you are a female, the nurse will also talk with you about doing a urine pregnancy test. Prior to your surgery, you will meet with the anesthesiologist and surgery care teams to review your surgery plan and answer any questions you may have. Please tell your anesthesiologist provider about any problems you or your family members have had with anesthesia, as well as any problems you have had with post-op pain or nausea. You will then be taken to the operating room where the surgical team will perform a final verification before proceeding with your surgery. Do not be alarmed if we ask your name or the type of surgery that you are expecting. This is all part of our safety verification process. While you are in surgery, your family members or friends are welcome to wait in our surgery waiting area. A member of the surgical team will talk with your family periodically to keep them updated on your progress. After surgery, you will be taken to the post-anesthesia care unit, also known as the PACU, where our nurses will check your breathing, heart rate, and blood pressure often, and also give you any necessary medications and help you recover from your anesthesia. Most people spend about two hours in the PACU before they go home or are transferred to a hospital room. For patients going home on the same day of surgery, your PACU nurse will also provide home care instructions. If you are having same-day surgery, you must have a responsible adult take you home after your surgery. Your surgery will be canceled if you have not made these arrangements. The following is information regarding care after your surgery. While you're in the hospital, your team will work closely with you to provide individualized pain management. You will experience some discomfort after surgery, but your pain management plan should allow you to stay as comfortable as possible so you can participate in your recovery. If you are staying in the hospital for one or more days after surgery, most hospital units will allow one adult family member or friend to stay with you overnight in your room. People are at greater risk for falls after surgery. To keep you safe in the hospital, we may use an alarm that tells us when you're getting out of bed, a belt around your waist when you walk, and a staff member to stay with you when you use the toilet or commode. Before you leave the hospital, your nurse will teach you and your family about your diet and activity and how to prevent constipation, how to care for your wound, and anything else specific to your condition. You will also get information about when to return for your follow-up appointment, what to watch for, and how to contact your doctor or clinic if you have any questions or concerns. In planning for recovery after surgery, you will want to consider what assistance you may need with chores, meals, errands, driving, child care, or pet care. You must have somebody available to drive you home after hospital discharge. Plan ahead for your trip home by wearing loose, comfortable clothing. Many people bring extra pillows and blankets to make the car ride home more comfortable. Your surgeon may prescribe pain medications when you leave the hospital. If you need a refill, please be sure to initiate the refill request at least two business days before you will run out. Out-of-area or out-of-state patients need to allow for additional time as some prescriptions, such as pain medications, must be mailed and cannot be faxed or called into pharmacies. Our social workers can provide support to you and your family before, during, and after your surgery. Social workers can provide emotional support as well as community resources that you might find helpful at home following your surgery. Most University of Washington Medical Center clinics are open weekdays from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. We are closed on weekends and major holidays. To reach your doctor's nurse or the care team, please call us during normal business hours. You will be provided with an after-hours phone number in case an urgent issue should arise. Please keep our phone numbers handy so that you may reach your care team at any time. You may also want to program these numbers into your cell phone. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please review all handouts provided to you carefully and let your care team know if you have any questions. And thank you so much for choosing the University of Washington Medical Center for your care.